Have you ever asked your friend to help you feed or take care of your fish? Ever wonder how your fish are doing while you're away on a trip? Today I'll show you a simple way to take care of these concerns. Hello everyone, my name is Kevin. Welcome to Shea Style. Today I'm doing a box of the automatic fish feeder. As you can see, this is something that can help me to feed my fish while I'm away. Let's open it up and take a look. So this is the black and the brown compartment. Oh, it's bigger than I thought this compartment. You actually have a, quite a large space to put the fish feed. And it's not, oh, so it's, this is nice because it has two containers. The one is for a smaller quantity and the other one is for the bigger quantity. You can see, oops, you can see here, that's nice. So, um, let's see what else is in here. So, there are two screws for you to uh, screw this on. Oh, if you, in case you want to uh, screw this on a container. So, let's give an example. Okay, I have a bucket here. So, if I want to screw it, I can. Use this and then tighten it just like that, and you will turn. This, it looks like it doesn't have a battery as included, so I need to check on that. So let's see where is the battery compartment. So there are two buttons, there are two buttons. is uh, 24 hour here and there's also a manual button you can press besides that let's see where is the battery compartment strange I don't see it must be somewhere here mm -hmm. so there is um, there's also a small one um, There's also a small knob here. You can control how much of an um, opening you want to you want to do every time you rotate. So you can see there's a gap that's being uh, pushed by the slide. Yeah, as you can see here, if I want to close it all the way. There will be less food entering and exiting this compartment, just like that. Let's give you a test then. Let's do the instruction manual. Okay, so let's turn it over. Off the menu here. All right, so from here you can see that you can uh, pop this open and reach the battery. Let's try that. You press on this side, and then the battery compartment will be open. You push it this way, you will see the two battery compartment. Okay, this thing I have two additional battery here. Spring. Nice, and we're good. Put back the lid. Okay, slide this back. Okay. Then uh, now let's see how it works. So I press this manually. I'll still keep this closed. There we go. So do one manual. Nice. 
just like that, and the fish fee will drop. This is a middle setting. Let's see how much it drops. Okay, that's not a lot. That's pretty good. All right, let's um, put this on top of the pink and see how it works. Okay, let's see if I can press the bottom. And now you turn and you drop some glue. Here, drop some glue. Nice, a fish eating happy. Cool. So using a wise camera to monitor the activity. So with a wise camera, you can go back in the, the app to check the history log. So anytime of day, if you want to see the action of the fish feeding, you can feel free to set a different triggering events. And with that, you can also record time lapse of how your um, plants are growing. So what I have here are loquats, lychee, and also some other plants like a uh, apple and the uh, pear. And I grew them in my in the incubator in the garage and also on the patio. And I've been giving them to my friends and families. And this is a ubei plant. It's basically a purple yam that I have that I didn't finish eating on the Trader Joe's. And feel free to experiment with whatever you want to grow. If you think this is interesting, please let me know. I can post more about these topics, such as aquaponics. Thank you. Yeah, and that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like this video. If you enjoy, please thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below. See you next time. Bye bye.